in college debate, you have to come in with nothing. And you just have to, like, you have 30 minutes before the round to look up stuff on the internet and hope that <laughs> it applies to what the other person is talking about. But it was a lot different learning how to just spread, learning how to talk fast without actually having anything in front of me. So, so I had to choose between whether it would be cool to like start something like mock trial because that was also something that I was really interested in. Um, ultimately, I decided that I would try to mock trial just because I'm going to go to law school after I graduate from CC. They give us a case every year and um, we get to be the prosecution or the plaintiff depending on if it's a civil case or a criminal case. And for the defense, we have to defend whatever the defendant did. <laughs> the reason that I came into mock trial um, was to get prepared for law school. And I see slowly that it's actually like being very beneficial. Um, I go to interviews and I worked at the ACLU this summer and I had like three other people who had already went to law school were talking about their experience in mock trial in high school and how it changed their lives and how it was such a good preparation for them um, when they were um, getting into like the, the groove of law school. And so I'm really excited to see if that's true for me, but right now it definitely has been. So an innovative mind is one that thinks outside of the box, that is always wondering how things can get better and how uh, something can be improved. Um, and I think the innovation deals more with wanting, like waking up every day and wanting to like be outside of the norm. And so I think that that's what an innovative mind would do making sure that at all times they're evaluating things and always asking the question why.